Okay, so uh, in this video, we're going to discuss about the various mathematical problems of enthalpy, uh, uh, entropy changes, um, uh, of which that uh, you are complaining that uh, you're facing a lot of problems. So today, we're going to show that how to deal with the mathematics of entropy changes. Okay, so uh, first of all, we are starting from number eight, and we are taking the re we are taking the reference from a course book, from chemistry course book. Uh, so the uh, the first reaction says that uh, water uh, is formed when hydrogen burns in oxygen. Okay, so when hydrogen burns in oxygen, so uh, this is the enthalpy change that showed us. Let me show you okay so this is the enthalpy change that they showed us over here now um, calculate the entropy change of the system so entropy change of the system so the entropy change of the system uh, which actually means that um, the entropy change the total entropy change of the system is equal to total entropy change of the reaction part plus total entropy change of the surrounding part okay so let's first calculate the total entropy change of the uh, reaction part okay uh, I think you remember the formula of total entropy change of the uh, reaction part the total entropy change of the reaction part will be equal to the entropy uh, of the products minus the entropy of the reactants all right okay so uh, now the uh, here the reactant is now look at the reaction the entropy uh, the reactant side contains water so first we will write okay let me make some space um, okay so first we will write the entropy of water and the entropy of water, water is given as minus 69.9 .9. and here are two molecules of water so 2 into 69.9 .9. this is the entropy of the reactant minus the entropy of sorry the product minus the entropy of the reactant the reactant has got two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen so two molecules of hydrogen means 130.6 into 2 so uh, 130.6 into 2 um, into 2 plus I think you can see it okay, so plus then uh, we have one molecule of oxygen so uh, it's 205 so 1 into 205 okay so this is the total entropy of the reactant and this is the total entropy of the product suppose you, you are getting a value x over here okay I'm erasing it okay now uh, the entropy change of the surrounding the entropy change of the surrounding is equal to minus del H divided by T so minus del H divided by T will give you the value uh, of uh, minus sorry minus uh, 561.6 divided by T the temperature uh, is given uh, okay the temperature is not given okay so oh all right all right all right all right sorry my bad my bad the entropy of the system means the just the reaction system okay not the total entropy it means the reaction system so just our uh, past calculation of the uh, entropy change entropy change of the reaction system or simply the system was would be our answer okay so it will be entropy change of the product minus entropy change of the reactant okay now 
use your answer to part A and the information at the start of the question to calculate a value for the Gibbs free energy uh, for the reaction okay um, okay so the temperature look here uh, the symbol given is the standard in entropy that means the entropies are calculated in under standard condition and standard condition means a temperature of 298 Kelvin all right okay so uh, 298 Kelvin all right okay so you re remember the formula that uh, del G is equal to del H minus T del S and del S is the of the reaction system okay so now you put the value of del H it is given kilojoule per mole so you should multiply it by thousand to convert it into joules so it should be minus 561.6 into thousand okay in 2000 uh, so this is the del h minus t del s that means 298 into del s that is the value you have obtained in the for, from the first question okay so this uh, should be your uh, the value of del g now the value of del g here appears to be negative and as the marker scheme says the value of del g here is minus four seven four zero 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 okay so del g is negative that means uh, some energy is uh, released into the surrounding that would do some work on the surrounding that means the process would be spontaneous uh, you must keep in mind that whenever the value of del g is negative del g that means the free energy value is negative um, that process is spontaneous and would occur easily at that temperature so uh, here is an important conclusion that if the total entropy change appears to be positive and if the total change in free energy appears to be negative this means that the process is spontaneous okay both these things mean that process is spontaneous why because that if the total entropy is positive that means the total entropy is increasing that means amount of disorganization is increasing that means it's easier to occur that means the process is spontaneous and furthermore if del g is negative that means the system is doing work uh, the system is releasing some energy that can be used to do work so uh, the system is very much responsive in releasing energy so that means the uh, the reaction of the process would be spontaneous it would occur easily and in this case the value of del g appeared to be negative so the process would be spontaneous okay use your answer to part b to suggest a value for the standard gibbs free energy of the formation of water liquid okay so uh water liquid um water liquid all right i can find some symbolic mistakes in the question like here it's given gas but here it's given liquid but it this would be actually liquid it's a mistake don't take it seriously so okay so the question said about uh, uh, entropy gives free energy for the formation of water and formation of water means how many moles of water one mole of water isn't it so we have found the entropy change for how many moles of water for two moles of water so uh, for two moles of water you have got the value of minus four seven four double uh, triple zero so for one mole of water it would be just simply this value divided by two okay uh, in this case is uh, that all these uh, reactions they will work in the same way and if you still face some problems please inform me later okay uh, one more thing that if a reaction uh, is at equilibrium at equilibrium the value of del g would be equal to zero uh, if the value of del g is equal to zero then del h minus t del s is equal to zero that means del h 
would be equal to t del s okay that means t would be equal to del h by del s and here and here del s is the entropy change of the reaction system or simply system system actually refers to reaction system okay so this is the temperature at which the uh, reaction would reach equilibrium the reaction would reversible reaction uh, okay and this is also the minimum temperature at which the reaction might occur so this temperature refers to two things the minimum temperature at which the reaction would occur and secondly um, the temperature at which the reaction would be reversible okay so i hope uh, you have got some idea about the uh, entropy changes and how to deal with the mathematics so i guess it helps and if you face any more problems please inform me okay and wh and whenever you find wherever you find this symbol this means standard and it means 298 kelvins okay so thank you that's all for today you please try to solve the rest of the problems and by uh, Eglos Halfcourt, I mean Uddarkot. Please, thank you.